This is absolute hellish work. Yay! Yes! today it is Saturday morning bright and early so today my family are gonna come up to see the house so two of my sisters my brother-in-law my niece and nephew and also my parents are coming up to see it which we're so excited about today the plan is to take up the carpets and take down the wallpaper and I realized that I haven't properly shown you yet so I'm gonna give you a look at the before and you just have to use your imagination okay because you're gonna see a kids room wallpaper you're going to see the main bedroom lots of wallpaper and look it's perfect but it's obviously not what we want in our rooms so i also think that the carpet has probably been there for at least maybe 15 years because of how long the previous owners were here so it's time to come up and i don't think i want carpet upstairs at least not right now anyway so we've got a good bit of work ahead of us i haven't shown you the skip as well there's a skip outside and my brother-in-law colin was like kira First thing you guys need to do is book a skip. He was like, you might not think you'll fill it, you will fill it with just any amount of stuff that you're clearing out. I have to say the previous owners, they left the place really clean and just empty. Anything that we're getting rid of is basically stuff that we're gonna be stripping, like wallpapers, carpet and all that. So they've really made our lives as easy as possible. Anyway, let me show you the before of the upstairs rooms. We're gonna try and take up these carpets. So here's what they look like. And then we have carpet all the way over here to the second stairs and this goes up to the attic. So we probably won't get all of this done today, but this is the plan. So just to give you a look at the main bedroom and the wallpaper that we are going to attempt to take up today. So this is like a textured wallpaper. If you can see there, it's raised, but you can see it's lifted here. So we're gonna do our best. Yeah, we're gonna see how that comes off, hopefully easily enough. So this is the kids' room. As you can see, it's, <laughs> it's wallpaper and they were obviously Harry Potter fans, which 100% I was too. I think that this wallpaper is very old. So again, we're hoping that it comes off pretty easily. Like I can kind of lift it here myself, but I won't do too much of that because we have some tools to hopefully make it easier. I think. It's probably, I don't know, at least a good 10, 15 years old, but we don't really want carpets anyway, so they're gonna come up. So yeah, the bulk of work that we're gonna be doing over the next few days while we have the skip here is to try and remove the wallpaper and take up the carpets. That's kind of the first priority. So we will mostly be working in the upstairs, the two bedrooms and the hallway, and also these, like the two stairs as well to rip up the carpet. So one thing I would really recommend if you're doing any of this like renovations or wallpaper carpet stuff is a pair of overalls. I'll link these below. They're from Amazon. They were like under 20 euro and they'll really, really protect your clothes. Look, I love my sister's one. She's obviously done this before. So cute. So thankfully most of the wallpaper in these rooms peeled off pretty easily, but there still was an under layer. You can see here, it just takes time to get off, but if you have lots of helpers, it's great. This front room was great because most of the strips came off really easily, but then underneath it, you still have a layer that needs to be removed. It can kind of be scraped, but you can see here, sometimes you're left with like the under layer, you can try peeling it, and then you can use solutions like wallpaper remover, which will help. Now this wall here was quite difficult. So you have to like soak it with this solution of wallpaper remover. It's not expensive. You get it from Woody's and you just got to take the time to get it all off. 
When it came to removing the carpets, I was actually so surprised at how easy they came up. Um, you can use a hammer or a crowbar just to like get that initial bit off. They might have little like staples and nails, so you obviously want to be careful. And then it's just a case of like pulling it up and it's very satisfying. Like I was having the best time doing this. You'll see there's like a little spongy layer underneath it that just lifts straight off as well. Like it is so satisfying. We also rented a skip from Collect Skips, I'll link them below, they were amazing to deal with. Absolutely essential if you're pulling up wallpapers and carpets, you'll be left with a surprising amount of stuff to dump, so it makes a lot of sense. Here I am cleaning out the gutters, this is like the kind of runoff from the roofs, um, so it just all the like mulch had to be like scooped out. Not the most glamorous thing, but a good thing to do if you're moving into a new place. I might um, put something better down to stop like silt and stuff from going in there, but yeah, very satisfying. So we are back at the house and it is Monday and on Saturday my whole family came up and my brother-in-law, even my niece and nephew and we absolutely blitzed the place and we have stripped the wallpaper, we have stripped the carpets from both bedrooms, the hallway and both stairs, like the amount of work that was done, many hands, like honestly. To be fair, I'm the youngest of four girls and we've always been like that, like no brothers needed, we just get it done. But my brother-in-law Colin is amazing and he's got a good bit of experience with this kind of stuff. We got someone in to look at the place to get a plaster skim, which is basically just a skim over the walls because these are like pretty raw, so they need something before we paint. But he unfortunately gave us the bad news that the whole hallway is also wallpaper. It's called plaster paper. I think it's probably been there for about 30 years and it does not want to come up. So today me and Colin have rented two wallpaper strippers, which are these devices that um, use steam to like heat and kind of let the wallpaper lift, but it's not coming off easy. <laughs> So this torture device looking tool that I'm using here is really handy. It perforates the wallpaper so it allows the steam or the product that you put on it to just penetrate deeper. I'm not gonna lie, this is absolute hellish work, but <laughs> we'll get it done in the end. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh! Beautiful. That is what we like to see. This is incredibly good news that this is coming off easy. Colin is gonna be so happy. I think he's power washing the deck as we speak. Yes. Oh! <gasps> yes! Okay, I need to go see what he's doing. That's amazing. Something incredible has happened upstairs. Oh, two of them started. Loads of it is peeling off. Bit closer. That's so cool. So back to the wallpaper stripping. The reason why I was so happy about that coming up easy is that this plaster paper did not want to come up. And here I'm using the wallpaper stripper. We rented two of these for about 35 euros each per day from Sam Hire, which is available in Chadwick's. They've loads of them around the country. And you can see here, it just starts to melt the paper, but some of it just did not want to come up. And yeah, it's it's not the most fun work in the world, but if you've got a great playlist and, you know, a bit of energy, you can just, f well, you don't fly through it, but here I'm speeding it up, it looks like I'm flying. It takes a while, but look, you get it done in the end. Not all wallpaper is going to come off easy, and you just need patience, and you'll get it done in the end. 
It's actually so crazy to me how much work was done over those two separate days, like by just pulling up carpets and stripping wallpaper, you have this amazing blank canvas. And I'm gonna give you a look now at <laughs> the kind of rubble in the house and the stuff that we were left with. So that's all the wallpaper, but you can get a look at the rooms. The walls are now almost ready for plastering, just a tiny little bit of extra bits of paper to remove, but they will get a plaster skim which is like a light plaster all over and then we'll probably have to um, do something with the stairs as well, maybe repaint it. Um, but once the plastering and the painting is done, the walls will really look like they're brand new and then you can see here the skirting boards have been removed and they're pretty cheap to replace as well. So it's gonna make a huge difference. So you can see we're left with the wooden floorboards underneath the carpets. I'm pretty sure these are the original 1950 floors. They're very old and these skirting boards might be the old ones as well. They're kind of mixed throughout the house but these ones looked the oldest so as I said we've removed them all they will be cheap to replace and the great thing about putting these on after the fresh plaster is that the plaster can go right down to the bottom because you can see there some of the plaster has little chips on it when it gets re-skimmed it'll be absolutely perfect so it is a great way to just give a fresh clean look to the walls between the plaster and a lick of paint it is honestly going to look so so different and then of course we're going to try and get new floors down on all of those bedrooms that we stripped the carpet from I'm thinking to avoid carpet and put down wood or laminate we're currently looking at that now and seeing what the best option is so there you go that is a recap of everything that we did in our first two days it's safe to say we have stripped the house back to basics and you can tune in next week where we will be ripping down a wall and we will also be prepping for plastering and choosing our floors so until then i will leave you with this random clip i found of joseph doing an air guitar solo enjoy <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.